ماشاءاللہ یہ تھے جناب حضرت قاری فصیح دین سہروردی صاحب جو نہایت ہی پیارے انداز میں نات پاک رسول مقبول صلی اللہ علیہ وآلہ وسلم پیش فرما رہے تھے مولانا عبدالحادی صاحب نے ایک مشورہ دیا ہے کہ جب بھی وہ ملیں ان کی خوب حجامت کیجئے تو میں نے سوچا کہ حجامت تو اس کی ہوتی ہے جس کے سر پہ بال ہوں ان کے سر پہ تو پہلے سے بال نہیں ہوتے تو حجامت کیا شکر maybe he is advising for double hajamat not for single anyway a beautiful shair was recited mehflo mein naam unka chhediye jaane dushman par qiyamat kijiye ala hazrat imam ahmed imam ahle sunnat radhi allah ta'ala anhu is the naked sword for the enemies of Islam. He was the true manifestation of Ashidda u Alal Kuffar. He was the true manifestation of Al Hubbu Fillah Wal Bughzu Fillah. Love should be for Allah and the hatred should be for Allah as well. Ala Hazrat did not hate anybody for any personal reason. People wrote hundreds of letters insulting him, abusing him. Did he ever write a book against those people? No. But if anyone insulted Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or his beloved Rasul, then Allah Hazrat became restless and he performed this duty. He was a true believer and that was the quality of the true believer. As Allama Iqbal describes a true believer, Ho halqai yaran to baresham ki tare narm Ho halqai yaran to baresham ki tare narm Razme haqqo batil ho to faulad hai mu'min that is the quality of the believer that if he is in friends then he is soft like silk and if he has to confront the enemies if he has to confront the battle and the falsehood then he is solid like a rock and this was the maslak of imam ahl sunnat radiallahu ta'ala anhu nowadays People accuse Allah Hazrat that he was too hard, he was not compromising. And there are many people who even claim to be Sunnis. There are many people who even claim to be the lovers of Allah Hazrat. But they fail to practice the path of Allah Hazrat radiallahu ta'ala anhu. Allah Hazrat radiallahu ta'ala anhu clears his position very nicely in his malfuzat. He says, people today come and they say, don't talk bad about the people. Don't say anything bad about the people. People must not be offended. Let's get united. Let's have the unity. He gave a very beautiful example. He said, ask those people, if anyone comes and swears your mother, will you have unity with him? He says, the people abuse and sway the mother of all the believers. Umm al Sayyidina Siddiqa radiallahu ta'ala they openly say and they openly write and you come and advise us that we must go and have unity with those people he says if anyone comes you advise us forgive forgive but if anyone comes and sways you you don't forgive you will sue him you will take him to the court 
or if you have some other sources to take the revenge, you might send gangsters or whichever other form of taking revenge. You might be powerful. You will use that and take the revenge and stop that. Stop that abuse. If anyone sways your mother, you make sure that that abuse is being stopped. And you advise us, keep quiet if anyone comes and sways the mothers of the believers. This was the maslak of Imam Ahl Sunnat radiallahu ta'ala anhu. Stay on that path. Stay on that maslak. Inshallah al-Aziz, that is the degree of the salvation and the success. Dearest brothers and sisters in Islam, we have 10 minutes now for starter and then afterward, inshallah al-Aziz, we will have opportunity to hear our guest, inshallah. It's the boost. So, inshallah al-Aziz, we'll have a beautiful lecture and I'm sure that after a beautiful lecture, you will enjoy your meal as well. And if we can wrap up our starter quickly, then I can ask our guest to start his talk. So I think within maybe one or two minutes, the noise of the spoon will stop, and inshallah, we'll ask our guest to start his lecture.